Okay, so I've got a 13900K here, and I need to delid this thing. So, and I also have a contact frame, etc. So I thought, while I go through this process, we can kind of do some A-B testing here. We're going to lap it. We're going to try the contact frame. We're going to try the stock ILM. Then we're going to delid it. And then step by step, we're going to see the temperature differences. And then we'll get to see if any of these methods are right for you to try them out. I'm super behind on work today, so this is just going to be like a handy cam video. Uh, none of this produced crap. All we have here for the uh, the cooling system is a vector block, EK vector block here, D5 pump, and then a 360 Monster. There's nothing really crazy here. This is like the same performance as your normal 360 AIO, right? So this is this is uh, definitely a good test for the majority of folks here. Okay, so here are the steps we're gonna do. We're gonna run it stock. Stock voltages, stock boost, stock everything, right? We're going to leave the whole thing completely stock. We're going to run the stock ILM first. We're going to get some temperature readings. Then we'll go to the contact frame. We're not going to lap the CPU yet. Then we'll do the contact frame first. Then we will lap the CPU. Then we will delid the CPU, right? And then we'll get step by step. Don't forget the 13900K and all content on this channel is brought to you by the supporters. Everything is paid for by them so I can bring you unbiased reviews with journalistic integrity. Okay, so in the stock configuration here, we're pulling 163 watts, just regular OCCT. And then the temperature on the package here is 6869 okay so next let's go do just the contact frame and see if it makes a difference all right we've got the contact frame in there now for for newcomers to hardware mods just because it says intel 12th gen here that doesn't matter the 12th gen and 13th gen cpus have the exact same shape so this is like yeah just don't, if you're gonna buy one of these these are like five bucks on aliexpress or um it's like 15 bucks on amazon i'll leave a link in the description below if you want this one but yeah just because it says 12th gen don't worry about it it will still work on a 13th gen Okay, so now this is the contact frame only, right? So let's go to the power draw here. Where are we at? We're at 161 watts, somewhere around there. So we're on the same power draw. And then temperature, let's go to the package, 67, 65. So it looks like we dropped two to three degrees. Uh, maybe not. One to two degrees. Yeah, two to three, whatever, two, two to three degrees we dropped there. Um, right, so, I mean, even if it is one to two degrees, it doesn't matter. This, um, for 15 bucks, like, the you might as well, right? That's pretty much the argument here. Um, for, for 10, 15 bucks, it's such an easy mod to do, and you might drop one to two, three degrees there. Why not, right? This is the exact same result that we got last time when we tested this thing out. Okay, so now we're going to try and lap it before we actually delit it to see if we can just get away with lapping it. Okay, so I just finished the lapping job here. This is not delitted yet. This is still uh, stock uh, solder on there, right? I kind of got it to a good, you know, mirror finish there. It's not the best job, but... It'll do for uh, the purposes of this video here. So again, this is not deleted yet. This is just the contact frame and uh, just a lap on it. So let's see what this does. Okay, so we got 162 watts of power draw, same as always. Temperature, we got package uh, 65, 64. So another... Another two degrees, yeah, another two degrees off. So each, you know, it's one of those things where it's like you're nickel and diming it, right? One to two degrees per mod. So we started off at 69, 70 Celsius. Now we're down to 64, 65, right? With just a lap and the contact frame, no deal it, right? So if you, I mean, the, the, war the warranty is already voided, right? But if you, um... If you are scared to delid, this is definitely good enough. You can just chill here and never worry about um, 
liquid metal or any of that crap either, right? It, it's, it's like a fun project. Like, go ahead and do it, right, if you don't care about your warranty. But don't think for a second that this is going to, you know, this is not going to let you compete against the best. Like, doing this is going to have a zero impact on your gaming, right? Zero. In fact, this CPU here is a for a customer build, right? So, um, the only reason I do it is because my customers that buy builds, they actually just want the best and they want the highest clocks, right? So, I do it for them. But for, like, regular normies and stuff, I totally not, man. Hell no. What's the point, right? A few moments later... Now, often I get asked, uh, do you ever get scared of delitting? And nah, not really. I've been uh, delitting since Ivy Bridge, right? So almost uh, 10 years of CPUs. So it's really only scary the first couple of times you do it. And then eventually you just get so used to it. Actually, I've, um, I've uh, knocked off a few capacitors on the 12th gen, if you remember my old videos. So even if I do break something, I know that I can fix it. So like, you gotta be confident in your repair skills is what I'm saying, right? So even if you do end up knocking a capacitor off, you gotta be able to have, be confident in your soldering skills to fix it if you have to. Otherwise, again, this is an enthusiast type mod. You would not do this if you are a normie or if you have any anxiety about this stuff whatsoever. Because you will break your CPU. And there we go. Easy peasy. The final form of the 13900K. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. Also, pro tip, the, uh, the contact frame actually straightens the IHS for you. So you don't actually have to go and use the, uh, the straightener that comes with the D-Lid kit. And you don't actually have to re-glue the IHS on, right? You just kind of put it in the socket and you put the contact frame on. And uh, it centers and straightens it for you. So it's actually, that's actually the biggest benefit that I've found to the contact frame is holding the IHS in place after a D-lid. It makes it so I can take off the IHS without the glue and all that shit. I like it a lot just for that reason. Okay, so last but not least, we're doing 158 watts. So it's so like three watts less, probably because it's running cooler. Let's see what the temperature is at here. CPU package 58. Yeah, so we dropped a total. What was that? Uh, what was it before? 64. So another six Celsius, five Celsius, six Celsius. So, uh, yeah, five, six. So in total with the entire process, we dropped 11 to 12 Celsius, which is, that's about, that's about right. Right. Um, now, that will get you about another 100 megahertz on the clock, right? That's pretty much why I have to D-lid for customers, right? Um, so they get that extra 100 megahertz, you know what I'm saying? Also, keep in mind, this is uh, stock, right? So let me show you what the real benefit is here. So if we click small and extreme and then click play, this is where D-lidding really comes into play here. Um... This is for, have you, if, you've, if you've ever played um, Apex or Overwatch, when you first load the game up and it installs the shaders, it'll pull like 250 watts out of your CPU, right? So check this out. So power right now is 250 watts doing small, right? Now temperature on the package, it's only 80 right if this was stock maybe i should have done it but if this was stock it would be well over 95 100 right that's where that's where the d-lid really comes into play being able to absorb those really 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 high power draws and it not blue screening on you right that's the biggest benefit to d-litting Anyway, guys, super quick video today. Just wanted to see if D-Litting is still worth it on 13th gen. Definitely still worth it. You get about a 10 to 12 Celsius drop on it. So even with all of the Intel improvements, it's still worth going ahead and doing that D-Lid. Now, if you are a supporter in the God tier or higher, go ahead and DM me and I will D-Lid your CPU for you. But other than that... 
And if you learned something today and you like the content, hit that subscribe button, do all that YouTube SEO stuff, like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of deleting the 13900K. Don't forget the affiliate links down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.